In previous video I showed you how to connect your WooCommerce store with a third-party BTC Pay server host. If you tried it out you saw that it is quite a easy setup and in this video I would like to show you how you can install self-hosted BTC Pay server. So if you already connected to a free host you can skip this video and maybe return to it at a later point when your store grows and when you decide that you need your own server. The third party solution is great for beginners and your server is then handled by someone else and that has its own pros and cons. The cost reduction and fewer efforts to set it up are most notable advantages. However, relying on someone else's full node brings privacy and trust issues. Furthermore, the self-hosted BTC Pay server offers some of the additional features like Lighting Network and the ability to connect unlimited stores and be payment processor for others. And that only works if you're a server admin or the owner at this point. So once you outgrow the third-party solution, you should seriously consider running your own BTC Pay server instance on a VPS for ultimate privacy, versatility and trustlessness. I will provide you with a link where more tech-savvy users can see ways in which you can connect your BTC Pay server. This particular video is focused on ease of use and cost-effectiveness, so we had to find uh, a way in which we can deploy our own BTC Pay server for cheap, but also in a relatively easy-to-do way. And this video is based on Nicolas Dorier article who provided this step-by-step -step instruction, so thanks Nicola. BTC Pay can be deployed and ran on any virtual private servers which meets the following requirements. The 80 gig storage is quite enough if you use the pruned mode. Uh, if you want to accept cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin and also on top of it Lightning Network, you should uh, then consider slightly bigger storage. In this video I'll be using Luna Node VPS because they accept Bitcoin and they met our requirements and were relatively cheap, though there are many cheaper solutions if you want to pay with credit cards or PayPal. Luna Nord uh, has large amount of plans and for this purpose the ideal solution will be their C1 plan, but it's 20 bucks a month so we'll have to go with M2 plan which is $7 per month and we will need to slightly modify it uh, by expanding additional storage for $2.4 and also pay one time cost of $3.5. So this is just so that you can see how much it will cost per month. So basically it will be $9.4 per month plus $3.5 for the first month. So the first thing you need to do is of course create your account and that you can do by clicking the sign up button on top. Or just going to pricing and then sign up. They have a bunch of these sign up buttons so just find the signed up button and click on it. The next step is to enter your email address, password and the country where you're from. So make sure to fill that info and when you do that click again the blue sign up button. Now you'll see the Luna Node dashboard and here the first thing you'll notice is that we need to verify our account in order to get started and we can verify our account of course by checking our email and receiving the confirmation email. So let's go ahead, return to your inbox and see if you received the confirmation email from Luna Node. Once you open the email from Luna Node, just click on the confirmation link and your account will be verified, which will be displayed on top here with a message. Now that we added our account, we need to deposit the credit and in the way in which Luna Node works is that they have the sort of a prepaid plans where you add uh, the money to the account and then just choose the plan. Go ahead and click deposit credit, choose the amount you want to pay and the payment method. In this case I'll be paying with Bitcoin and I'll be choosing $15. Click on the add credit button and the next step we need to do is verify our phone number. So enter your phone number and click continue. On that very same phone number you will receive an SMS message from Luna Node with a 4 digit PIN code uh, which you need to enter in this field here. So enter the PIN code and click submit. Now we successfully completed the phone verification and now we can proceed to make a payment. As you can see the checkout process is quite easy to follow up until now. All the relevant information is presented here on top. So let's now go ahead again and choose $15. As you can see it's not that user friendly from this point now. So I will select Bitcoin payment. I added the amount which I want to pay which is enough for, to cover me for one month. I will click pay now. So just click pay now when you choose the amount. 
and the pop-up window will be displayed uh, here informing you on which address if you're paying with the Bitcoin you need to pay and the amount you need to pay. So this is certainly not an easy and user-friendly way and quite a troublesome uh, checkout experience but it is what it is so we'll need to follow it from your wallet make a payment to address and add the amount here or if you are paying with other payment methods just complete it once you do that if you're paying with bitcoin you need to wait for confirmation on the bitcoin network so go ahead grab a juice grab a coffee or whatever you wish and i will return back when my invoice is confirmed by the way the invoice confirmation will arrive at your email so you check your email from time to time just to see if the Luna Note confirmed your purchase. Once you receive the payment processed email from Luna Node, you can go to your dashboard in Luna Node. Up there you'll finally see here that now you have credits to your account, which means we can purchase and create our first virtual machine. You'll see here this sidebar menu and there click on create VM. Select the region of your virtual machine. I'll be selecting for instance Montreal, Canada. In the host name enter for instance BTC Pay. After choosing the host name we need to select our plan and I already told you that we'll be using memory optimized plan so go ahead click memory optimized from the plan menu and there choose M2. Now scroll a little bit down you'll see the image option here which means basically that you need to choose the operating system for your virtual machine choose the ubuntu 18.04 64-bit click on the green create virtual machine button now you'll see the notification that virtual machine created successfully now we need to add additional storage if you remember so let's go ahead to volumes from the dashboard menu here and select the same region where you added your virtual machine in my case that's again montreal canada give the name to your volume i will again say btc pay and select the 80 gigabyte size after that create volume now that you did that you'll again see the notification here on top that the volume has been successfully created scroll down back and you'll see that the volume is created here on the volume list under the volume list find your volume again here it is btc pay and click on manage now we need to attach that uh, volume to our virtual machine so click attach to vm select the virtual machine again again it's btc pay for me and click attach volume to vm The last thing we need to do here in the dashboard is that we need to enable excessive usage of CPU. Uh, go back to virtual machines here in dashboard, click virtual machines and choose your virtual machine. Click manage. Here now you can see a bunch of useful stuff but what we need is to go to CPU tab on the top and click on it. Now you need to enable pay for CPU above baseline performance. Just select yes and do not forget to click green update button. You will see again notification that CPU is enabled now. Again go back to virtual machines and stay on this general tab. Now we created our virtual machine, installed the operating system on it, we attached additional volume and enabled a CPU. And that is enough for now to run the BTC Pay server. If you remember our story from the beginning of this video series, an IP is basically just a set of numbers which is resolved to a domain name. So now we need to set this external IP from our virtual machine into our SiteGround account. If you're not using SiteGround, if you're not following this tutorial entirely, the process will be pretty similar for most of the hosts you're using for your domain name. Copy this external IP for now and go to your SiteGround or whichever hosting you're using. I will show this in, uh, in SiteGround example. So in SiteGround, go to my account, select go to cPanel 
and now you'll need to configure the domain. Uh, for SiteGround there is a very easy tool called Simple DNS Zone Editor. If you do not see this uh, domain tab on top, just scroll back, it might be on a different location for you. Go to Simple DNS Zone Editor. You, now you need to add an A record. In my case I want my website to be btcpay.butoshi.com. So my name here will be btcpay. You can use whatever name you want. And now you need to paste the IP address. You, you now see that the SiteGround will automatically tell you what will be the new uh, URL for the IP address. So just paste that address here and click add a record. Added record, you'll see notification and that's basically it. We configured that once we set up our BTC Pay server, but once we install it on our virtual machine, you will access it through this domain name and not the IP address. Now we need to install BTC Pay server. For that we uh, will need to use uh, a little bit of uh, command line and terminal, but do not be scared. It is just a matter of copying and, and pasting commands that are already exist. What you need to do next is open your terminal. Uh, I will show this example on Mac, but if you're using Windows, I will leave a link to Nicola Doria tutorial, whose uh, setup I'm using to replicate uh, this setup. In so basically, I will copy pasting uh, everything that Nicola said, and you see that he also explained how to install Luna Node. And if you're using Windows, you will see here how to do this on Windows. Now you need to open the terminal. If you're on Mac and you're lazy, you can just tell Siri to open it or you can go to your utilities folder and find the terminal. Let's say I'm lazy. Siri, open terminal. I'll now just expand it just a little bit. Okay, now that you expanded the terminal, uh, open the article that I will provide you from Nicola Doria. The creator of BTC Pay Server, where he explains step by step what needs to be entered. We will basically just be pasting the commands uh, he provided into the terminal. First thing we need to log in into our virtual machine. To log in, you need to enter SSSH. Ubuntu is a unique name for all Luna Node um, virtual machines. You can see username here, and this is the password. So copy the password from Luna Node virtual machine located in general tab. Copy that password now when we are in that window. And you enter Ubuntu at your domain. In my case, btcpay.butoshi.com. Press enter. Enter yes. P press enter again. Now you need to paste the password from here. So copy it paste it. Password will not be visible, so you just need to press enter. And now we are into our virtual machine. Next step is to enter sudo su. That's here. Enter sudo su. Press enter. You'll see that you are now logged in as root. Root at BTC pay. The next command is provided here, so copy it entirely. Press copy, paste it here, wait for it to load. And when that is done, press enter. Next, you need to set Docker to use this volume. So copy, paste, then we need to install git. So do that, copy, paste, and you see the git will be installed very shortly. So then next command. So as you can see, basically I'm just copying and pasting commands. Nicola provided. Uh, press enter when this is finished. So now we are into Docker. And now uh, from now on we'll be executing commands in Docker. So now if you want uh, BTC on the mainnet, copy this paste it inside docker. Next, if you want lightning network implementation for LND implementation, copy this. Again, here you can press enter, then paste it. Now we need to set SSSH to BTC pay. Oops. 
so copy that paste it press enter and now here is the first part which needs to be edited let me just zoom that in a little bit so we need to edit this part here we need to change the text inside the quotation marks and change it to our domain in my case that will be btcpay.wotoshi.com and in your case that will be your own domain so i will just rewrite that here btc sorry btcpay.wotoshi.com i will copy it from here paste it and uh, now we need to change our email here again inside the quotation marks just write your email copy it press enter here copy that and let me just minimize this now copy the next command copy paste it here and finally this command is uh, if you want to see more options you need to paste uh, this command if not you just need to copy this and paste it and now btc pay will begin installing you just need to wait leave it it will take two or three minutes so just leave it there do not close terminal do not turn off laptop make sure that your laptop pc is powered on and um, just wait for it to finish even though it may seem that it is stuck at some point just leave it there are certain parts where it takes a bit longer to download stuff and install them so just wait once you see this btc pay server started and all of the stuff that means that it is completed when you see the docker message here so now our btc pay server has been installed completely it also installed the lightning network and also the bitcoin full node so now you need to go to your browser and enter the domain name so let's do that my domain is btcpay.wutoshi.com and as you can see my btc pay server is now running i'd like to point out one very important thing you see this warning here your nodes are sinking this means that btc pay server needs to load an entire blockchain or sync an entire blockchain so since this is process intensive process uh, it may take a few days uh, because we've chosen a cheap virtual machine it may take up to three or four days so check back this in three or four days and you'll be able to access your btc pay server fully that's it for now in next video i will show you how you can log in into your btc pay server